All right, hopefully my mic is working. Gosh, you just never know. So many things go wrong with, with while making videos. That's why a lot of people don't make videos and, and people are such harsh critics, but this is cool. Um, I don't have the money to uh, build an outdoor enclosure uh, for my tegus. This is obviously a tegu video. Uh, so I had this old kennel up in my uh, storage in the garage and I was just thinking, you know, man, what could I use that I already have that I could I could put my tegu at one at a time outside? Uh, and I thought about this old dog kennel that I had. It's just good enough to where I don't think they can get out of the uh, the gaps between uh, the metal. Uh, so uh, my tegus, I just I, I'm they they come outside and they get very upset, uh, especially when they're on the ground uh, at ground level and I'm standing nearby. They're on my shoulder when I'm walking around outside. They're completely complacent and cool. Uh, it's just when they get on the ground, they, they feel very, very vulnerable. And I don't necessarily think that it's that they're seeing me in a different light because of the UV rays outside. I take my tegus outside uh, quite a bit, you know, in the last two years on my shoulder and they see me and I hold them outside and they see me clearly in the different light. Uh, so I think it's just a vulnerability thing and maybe that'll change uh, as they're outside more, but I gotta have them protected. Um, I cannot have a runaway tegu and then try to uh, capture the tegu as it's running and just get mauled on my hands. I'm not doing it. Um, and, and so uh, this is a perfect situation. It has a uh, door on this side. I mean, it's a, it's a, it's a common kennel, you know, that shuts uh, and opens up. And this is a little catch and there's a larger door on this side that opens up and uh and i had to buy this board the uh the plastic tray that came in here got got lost or i just got given this kennel and i didn't have that tray so i had to put a bottom because the metal pieces in there are much wider and they could get out uh, and then i'm going to probably put you know something similar that i have because this stuff is so expensive still in 2023. This board, which wasn't much bigger than this, was $27. Uh, and it was not a four by eight sheet. Uh, I mean, two years ago when I bought them, they were even much cheaper, but still this was really, really expensive for what it is. Uh, and I just gotta, I'm bleeding money. I'm bleeding money because of, of the cost of food and my electricity and, gas bill i mean it's just draining me uh, i don't have enough coming in um, but that's for another story or another day but i've got this black carpet i don't remember where i got this from but i'll, I'll put this in here and I'll, I'll i'll get a way to uh make it look really nice and staple it on the bottom and uh the downside is you know when it's not so hot right now the black will be good because it'll 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 add heat uh, but when it's 105 and I want to stick my tegus outside, I don't want them to get too hot. And also too, make a, a little elevated platform, not for them to sit on, but for them to get out of the sun, because this is what I'm going to leave, you know, set a timer and maybe, you know, uh, put one in here for a couple hours, you know, while I'm home, not leave and uh, allow them to just bask and get some natural sunshine. That's the best UVB for our reptiles is the actual sun and not relying on a questionable light to provide the UVB source uh, for their health. So, um, so I, it'll probably be, you know, probably about this long. It won't be, have to be very tall, just enough space for them to get under and get out of the sun uh, so they can dictate their, their own heat, regulate their own heat uh, as far as, you know, sun. Um, so that's it. And then I was walking down the street the other day and just saw someone was throwing these plastic stands away, these uh, works stands, throwing them away for trash to come pick them up. And I was like, man, that's awesome. And I picked these up because uh, if I put this cage on the ground and on the grass and I put my tegus in there, they would be very upset. They've got to be elevated. So like when they're on my shoulder, they're totally cool. So up a little bit higher and my dog roams around the yard. So my dog will come up and, you know, and is at a lower level and come up and sniff and won't, won't pay too much attention to them but you know may every once in a while come over and you know sniff at them and then walk away but they should give them more confidence so i got this perfect little these little stands 
just worked out really, really well. And the board fit in there just perfectly. Uh, I just had to cut the edge of it off because it was about this long. And so I got that for extra wood. And uh, I just wanted to share my idea with people. So if you don't have a way to uh, put your tegus outside and leave them for a couple hours, this is a good alternative. So if someone didn't think of it, I, I mean, it took me a while to think of it. So uh, maybe I'll just pass along and you can use what I do and use it or not. Okay. Sorry, no tegus to uh, put in the, uh, you know, have on me. I love my tegus. They're still brumating but it's getting warmer and warmer by the day. Perfect day for them to be awake, but they are still just super crashed out and I don't want to forcefully wake them up and make them come out of brumation. I just don't think that's a good thing to do. Just let them do that on their own. But I'm putting on, just uh, if you're wondering why I have this contraption and my braces out, I'm having to mount this up a little bit taller so that it's raised up a little bit in the cage so that uh, the little bit of bars that, you know, that are they're not going to be able to get out of it just i don't even want to have to think about them being able to get out the smaller one my female so i'm raising it up just a tad uh, with some supports uh, right there just like that and gluing them and this uh, bracing them down uh, using my clamps and and that's what this is so just more content okay thanks for viewing have a great day check back for more tegu videos i'm always making tegu videos ducati videos sir on car all kinds of stuff good content. Okay. Bye-bye. Have a good day.